Hey, Axe Week on three. One, two, three. Axe Week. Ah, yes. Happy Axe Week, everyone, and welcome to the Press Pass. Now, I could throw a lot of numbers at you, like how the Badgers have won the Axe 13 straight years. Or I can give you some cliches about how you throw the records out in rivalry games. But all I really need to say is, it's Axe Week. We're in the locker room after last week's game, and you know how we finished it was was about this game. And, uh, and guys that have played in it, they, they, they know and respect this this rivalry and we are fortunate we've got a number of guys on this team that can pass on what it means and certainly coaches and, and people in it that you want to make sure that uh, you remind the ones that have played but it's it's for the ones that haven't to understand the magnitude of this game. The Badgers can take the all-time lead in the series for the first time with a win on Saturday. After scoring 11 goals in two games against Michigan, the men's hockey team is back home this weekend against Mercyhurst. Now this series is squeezed in between some big conference series with Michigan and then Minnesota and Notre Dame coming up the next two weeks. So Coach Granado wants to make sure his team's focus is on the Lakers. To be an elite team and to be a a team respected nationally week after week as far as the rankings go, uh, you have to be a consistent team. So it doesn't matter whether we play Mercyhurst, whether we play North Dakota, whether we play Minnesota, uh, we have to play the same way. So it's going to be a challenge for our guys. They're going to want to come in here and make a statement and knock a top team off. And it's a challenge for our guys to make sure that we're continuing to grow and get better each and every weekend. The Badgers play Saturday and Sunday this weekend. And of course, Sunday is a Sunday kids day and youngsters will receive a Bucky Badger bobblehead toothbrush holder. For the third time in school history and the first time since 1995, the men's soccer team is in the Sweet 16 after taking down 12th seed Notre Dame. And now, UW gets to play through Thanksgiving. Green bean casserole, baby! Yeah! We call it the question of the week. So the question was, what traditions do you and your family have? And then what's your favorite food? But actually the green bean casserole came up. A few guys had mentioned it and we went to our Swedish player, Robin. And he said, I don't know anything about Thanksgiving, but that green bean casserole sounds pretty good. I'm looking forward to that. And so, uh, yeah, it was kind of a joke within the team. And when you are having turkey together as a team, in that family rather than your own family. You can start saying it's a very successful season. We don't want it to end, but we're, we're excited to move on. The Badgers will look to continue to topple the top seed Saturday as they play at fifth seed Akron. The volleyball team plays its final two home matches of the season this weekend. It gets started Friday against top seed Penn State and continues Saturday with senior night against Rutgers where the Badgers will honor Kelly Bates and Lauren Gillis. It's been a wild ride for both of them. Uh, you know, with a lot of ups and, and, and a few downs sprinkled in there and just, you know, their perseverance kind of through some of the tough times to, uh, uh, towards that growth uh, is, is, is exactly what you'd want. You have two players that are, that are over a thousand kills in their career and that's, uh, you, you know, that's, that's an impressive milestone for both of them. The Badgers will also figure out their postseason path on Sunday as the NCAA tournament bracket will be released. That's the Press Pass for Wisconsin Athletics. I'm Brandon Spiegel.